Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, and the sincere peace and salutation of all you hopeful little Akim out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do so he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel. Which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line goes back to you being the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, one of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Shalom. It's your brother Halaki from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimi Hawasha with another video. And this time I have an article from RT News, and the title reads: By increasing its nuclear weapon stockpile. Hypocritical U.S. I mean U.K. is violating 50-year-old non-proliferation treaty. Russian senator, you see. So what's happening, man? The U.K. is increasing its nuclear stockpile, man, and that's all a part of prophecy because all this leads up to a third world's war, man. So all these nations are what? Are building up their nuclear arsenals? They're building up their military, so forth and so on, man, because they're being prepared for war. By the heavenly Father Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh So let's get uh, let's get to our uh, scriptures real quick. Revelation eleven and fourteen says what? The second war is past, which is World War Two. It's past, and behold, the third war cometh quickly. World War Three, man, it's coming quickly. You see, and all these things that's happening in the earth between all these different nations, all that tension. You see, all these uh, nations are breaching treaties, so forth and so on. That all you know. It, 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 this is all a build up to World War Three, man. Now let's go to Revelation. Uh, not Revelation Nine. Isaiah Nine to see how this war is going to be fought, man. Isaiah Nine says what? <laughs> Isaiah Nine and Five says what? For every battle of the warrior is what confused noise and garments rolled in blood. What is that talking about? The ancient battles, man. They were fought with what? Sword and shield, man. Hand to hand combat. Close, close, com close uh, quarter combat, man. Good examples, you go like watch Troy, uh, Game of Thrones, uh, Spartacus. What else? 300. You see how they used to fight, fight the ancient battles, man? You see? And even in the modern wars, man, what happened? They will fight with, with, with the gun, which is the modern day sword. You see? But, it's, what, but what does it say about this coming war? What does it say? But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. This is how this third world's war is going to be fought, man. With burning and fuel of fire. And this is why you see these nations starting to build up their stockpiles even more. Because you already know what comes behind this, man. If the UK is doing this, you know other nations are going to be doing this as well. <coughs> and that's <clears throat> and that's the most I'm preparing these nations <clears throat> to shoot these missiles on each other. So let's get to the article. So it says, Britain's move to grow a stockpile of warheads by 40% is a violation of the treaty on the non-proliferation non of nuclear weapons. That's according to Cons Constantine Kosachev, the vice chairman of Russia's Senate. Last week, London announced that it would be Ending its policy of gradually reducing its number of nuclear uh, missiles. You see that? So this is gonna cause other nations to do uh to, to do the same, man. So it says what? Later on the BBC's Andrew Marshall, UK Defense Minister Ben Wallace, revealed that 10 Downing Street took the decision in response to Russia investing strongly in ballistic missile defense, noting that Britain needs to have a credible deterrent. This decision by itself is a clear violation of the proliferation treaty and many other agreements that prescribe only the reduction of the number of nuclear warheads, Kosachev wrote on, face, on, the, on his Facebook page. The British strategy calls for a 40% increase in the country's nuclear capabilities. The Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty was agreed, agreed, <clears throat> was agreed in 1968 and came into force in, in 1970. Among other things, the signatories pledged that 
they would undertake good faith efforts to achieve complete disarmament. After last week's comprehensive spending review, London announced it would be increasing its number of missiles from 195 to 260. Although a significant expansion, although a significant expansion of the arsenal, the British stockpile will still be smaller than those of Russia, America, and France. And the thing is, with the art of war, man, you never let your enemy know how much you have. So all these numbers of the, these nations telling each other how many uh, missiles they have is it, is a false number because they actually have more than what they're telling each other. So Britain's talking about they're increasing it from 195 to 260. Probably, it's probably in the thousands, man. But they will not tell their enemies that because that's what you do, you see, when you're at war. Or when you have enemies, you don't let your enemy know what you have. So it goes on to say, <clears throat> all along, Westerners have been hypocritically arguing that First, the, their missile defense systems had nothing to do with strategic nuclear weapons. And second, that these systems were in no way directed against Russia. Kosachev added, so when, did, so when did Britain lie, Mr. Secretary, then and now? The politician was referring to, to the NATO missile defense system in Europe. And that's what NATO was created for, man. NATO was created, you see, to be a deterrent to, to, to the USSR, man. To be a deterrent to Russia. So they're just fulfilling their role, man. You see, that, that, that mission they have, it never changed. They're still here to deter Russia. But we know as prophecy tells us, man, that shit is going to fall through. So it goes on to say, uh, the politician was referring to the NATO missile defense system in Europe, which the U.S.-led bloc has reportedly or repeatedly claimed is not aimed explicitly at Russia. Following the announcement, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told the press that London's decision harms international stability and strategic security. And that's what the most I want was, man. The most I want is these nations to have tension and distrust amongst each other. Because this leads up to World War III. So it goes on to say, yet again, an ephemeral threat from Russia was voiced as justification. He noted, Russia is not a threat, but the buildup of warheads is something that endangers peace all over the world. And that's what the most I want, man. Because this war is going to take place. And you nations are going to shoot missiles upon each other, man. With America, Babylon the Great, being completely destroyed to never be inhabited again. And with the land of Israel being completely destroyed. And after it finished burning, you heathen are going to build up our land for us. All this is taking place because it's the will of the Heavenly Father, man. See, so it says what? While the U.S. and Russia are part of the New START agreement, a bilateral treaty with restrictions on nuclear weapons, the U.K. is not bound by these rules, according to Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakhar Zakharova. Extra weapons in the hands of Washington's allies affects the Russian-U.S. strategic balance. The decision of the U.K. leadership emphasizes a long-felt need for involving American nuclear allies in efforts to reduce nuclear weapons. Zakharova said. So you see, man, these nations are building up. These nations are building up uh, nuclear weapons, man. And this is all prophecy. So let's get to it. So we're going to start right here in Re Revelation 9. In 16. Revelation 9 and 15, and the, and the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men. These four angels that are bound right now, according to Revelation 7, are the angels that's holding back this destruction. You see? But the time is going to come where they're going to be loosed. You see? And, and that means what? They're going to put the spirit upon these heathen nations to press the button to launch nuclear missiles at each other, man. That time is coming. Verse 16 says what? And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000, and I heard the number of them, 200 million, 200 million thermonuclear warheads, man. That's what's going to be launched off. You see? Because like I said, these nations have more nuclear weapons than they're, they're actually 
uh, telling each other, man. And they're going to continue to build more and more and more, man. Why is that? Because that's the will of the Heavenly Father. Hey, this, this war has to be fought with, with flames and fuels of fire, as it tells you in Isaiah 9, man. So it's going to, hey, that, that number of warheads that's on the earth is going to increase exponentially, man. Verse 17 says what? And thus I saw the horses in the vision and them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire and, and of Jason and brimstone. It's talking about the ICBMs. And the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions. What, what are these heads? The heads are the nuclear warheads, man. The, the nuclear warheads. Why did he compare them to it? The, the heads of lions? Because lions are ferocious beasts, man. You see? And these warheads are going to be ferocious as well. It says what? And out of their mouths issued fire, smoke, and brimstone. Because the main destructive part of the missile is what? Is the, is the warhead. So that's what the Apostle John is describing right here. Verse 18 says what? By these three was the third part of men killed. The third part of men is talking about the Edomites. This great destruction that's coming is, is, is a judgment upon the house of Edom. Mainly the American Edomites. Because like, like uh, the prophecy tells you, Babylon the Great is the only nation that's going to be destroyed to never be inhabited again. You see? This is the judgment of every Edomite living in, in, in America, man. You see, or, or those that are living <clears throat> when these missiles start to fall. That's your judgment coming upon you from the Heavenly Father, man. You are the third part of men because there's three classifications of men on the planet Earth. You have the sons of the Most High, which are the Israelites. You have the, the sons of men, which are the heathen nations. And you have the, son of, the sons of the wicked, which is the Edomite nation. And this is how the Edomite nation here in Babylon the Great is going to be cut off, man. And these missiles are going to hit in different spots on the earth. But the main destruction is going to take place here in America, man. Verse 19 says what? For their power is in their mouth, which is the warhead, and in their tails, which is the rocket propulsion system to get it from point A to point B. For, in, <clears throat> for their tails were like unto serpents, and had heads, the heads once again, the warheads, and with them they do hurt because that's what the destructive power is in the warhead, man. You see? So what the Apostle John is describing right here is what these nations are building up. These nuclear missiles, man. These nuclear warheads. Hey, Britain is about to increase theirs by 40%. And, they, and these other nations are going to follow suit, man. They're going to, hey, if, 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 if the UK is doing it, the, the other nations feel like they have to, uh, have to keep up to protect themselves. And they're going to build their nuclear arsenals up, man. You see? So let's go to 2nd Ezra. Let's go to the Apocrypha. 2nd Ezra 16 and 13 says what? For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Now you know, no one can actually shoot an, no one can shoot an actual arrow into the end of the earth, man. No man on this planet can stand in Russia and shoot a, and shoot an actual arrow to America, man. It's impossible. So the arrows that's going to be shot into the ends of the earth are these ICBMs. Hence the term ICBM, which means what? Intercontinental ballistic missile being shot from one continent to another. Those are the arrows that's going to be shot into the ends of the earth. And it says what? They're not going to be, they're not going to miss. They're going to go exactly where the most I wants to the, want them to go. To destroy exactly what the most I wants to be destroyed, man. Verse 14 says what? Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. You see that? The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consumes the foundation of the earth. That fire that's going to be kindled is that thermonuclear fire, man. Mainly here in Babylon the Great. Like I said, the whole land of America is going to be destroyed by way of nuclear fire. You see? The land of Israel, destroyed by nuclear fire for all the wickedness over there in that land, man. That land has to be purged. And the purest form of, uh, of uh, the purest cleaning agent is what? It's fire, man. So that's how that land is going out. It's not talking about the whole planet, the whole entire planet Earth being destroyed. No, man. The Most High tells you in Isaiah that he made the Earth to be inhabited. That he made the Earth for the Israelites' sake. You see? So it goes on to say, verse uh, 16 says what? Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer, returneth not backward, even so the plagues, which are the ICBM missiles, that, sh that shall be sent upon the Earth shall not return again. You see that? So once these nations push that button, man, 
once the once these angels that's in that that are over there working on the minds of these heathen nations or he, these heathen leaders, once they put the spirit upon them to push that button, there's no there, there's no going back, man. You see, there's no going back. You see. Verse 17 says, What well, war is me, war is me, who shall the who will deliver me in those days, man? And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to deliver his remnant out of this great destruction that's coming. Because it is coming, man. You see? And and, and like the scriptures tell you, let's go back to Isaiah. Let's go to Isaiah 13. You see, yeah, yeah, all these nations they have missiles and, and different places on the earth are gonna get hit. But it tells you in Isaiah. And all throughout the scriptures, that America, Babylon the Great, is going to suffer the, the, the brunt of this nuclear destruction, man. So Isaiah 13 says what? Isaiah 13 and 19 reads, And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency, shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. You hear that? Babylon, the glory, the glory of kingdoms, is talking about America, man. Because what did they say? America is the greatest country on the earth. That was a slogan for a long time on the earth, man. Come to America to live the American dream. You see? This place is going to suffer the same fate Sodom and Gomorrah did, man. To be wiped off the map. To be a desolate wilderness, man. Sodom, Sodom and Gomorrah is still uninhabited till this day. And why was Sodom and Gomorrah destroyed? For the wickedness. You see? For their wickedness, man. And look at what America is doing. It's doing even worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. You see? So because of all this wickedness that they're promoting and exalting here in this land, this land is going to uh, suffer a great destruction by way of thermonuclear fire, man, from the east to the west, from the north to the south, man. Everything in between completely eradicated by way of thermonuclear fire. You see? Verse 20 says what? And it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation, Neither shall the Arabian prince tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. You hear that? This land is never going to be inhabited ever again. And you heathen nations will never come over here and set up shop ever again in this land as you're doing now. All this shit is about to be destroyed, man. Everything you see in America, all these big ass cities, these skyscrapers all over the place, is going to be completely destroyed by way of thermonuclear fire, man. As it tells you, let's get that real quick. What's that, Second Peter? Oh, three. Second Peter three and ten says what? But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Gonna catch you people on the webs because you're not watching. You're not considering what the prophets are saying, man. We're telling you that this place is about to go down in a great and horrible way, man. <clears throat> but you talk shit, you mock, you scoff, <clears throat> you think we're crazy. But that day is going to catch you as a thief in the night, man. going to catch you unawares. And what's going to happen? In the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. <clears throat> How is that going to be done? By way of those thermonuclear missiles, man. You see? Thermonuclear warheads. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and, uh, and the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. You see that? This is going to be a war with uh, a war fought with flames and fuels of fire, man. This is what's coming. Everything is going to be burned up here in the land of America, man. Everything. All this damn concrete and tar that's all over all these roads, all these trees, all these buildings, all these cars. Everything in this land is going to be completely dissolved by way of that thermonuclear fire. You see, and <clears throat> and when you get headlines about nations burning up their nuclear arsenal, you think they're doing that for no reason? You think they're doing that just to, just to sit on these missiles and just have them in a the stockpile somewhere and to collect dust? No, man, they're going to use these missiles. You see that? That's what's coming, man. The el elements are going to melt with fervent heat, man, and everything on it, everything in existence is made made up of elements, man. So that means that means people are going to be melted. Houses, cars, trees, businesses, storefronts, cities, completely destroyed by way of thermonuclear fire, man. So let's go back to that Isaiah. So like here. 
Let's go back to Isaiah, finish that one off. Isaiah 13. And 20, it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt there from generation to generation, neither shall the Arabian pinch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. But the but wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures. And the isles shall dwell there, and, and satyrs shall dance there. And wild beasts of the islands shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in her pleasant palaces. And her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged, man. You see that? This time is fastly approaching uh, uh, for the destruction of America to take place, man. So you people can continue to scoff and mock and talk shit if you want to, but guess what? That, that, that doesn't change the fact that this is going to take place. You see that? <clears throat> let's, get Mal let's get Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shav host, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. You hear that? Salaki. <coughs> that day is coming, man. You see? And how is it and what's gonna make it burn as an oven? Those thermonuclear missiles, man. And this is gonna be taking place all throughout the earth. But once again, that main destruction is gonna be here in Babylon the Great, man. You see? A lot of places on the earth are going to get hit with missiles, but that main destruction is going to take place right here in America. You see that? And we'll finish it off with this one. Zechariah 14 and 12. <clears throat> Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. You hear that? It's talking about all nations that fought against the Israelites. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And how is that going to be made possible? By way of that thermonuclear fire, man. The day is coming that it shall burn as an oven. And all you heathen nations, you see, they had a part in the oppression, the downfall, and the affliction of the Israelites, you're going to pay by, way, by being burned up with nuclear fire, man. You see, especially here in the land of America, Babylon the Great. So this is what we see taking place, man. This is what we see building up. And it's going to continue to build up. You see, the closer we get, you see, to Yahweh Shai's second coming, the more this is going to build up and it's going to finally culminate in what? The most high are putting the spirit upon these heathen nations to, pu to push the button. You see? And fire is going to rain from the skies, man, as it is written. So with that, I'm going to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekak, Wadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, and the sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful let Akim out there, pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do. With that, Mr. Shalom, Wa, Abba, Abba, Abba.